Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Today is Saturday, October the 15th of 2016. Um, yeah, I know I sound a little down right now. I've had a rough couple of days. I uh, don't want to go into details of what happened, but it's kind of got me down. <laughs> so, sorry for the sad inflection in my voice. But anyway, on to the subject matter of the video. Um, in my previous video, I um, tested this Macintosh LC that I found at Goodwill for um, $10, something you never, ever find at Goodwill. <laughs> and um, we tested it and discovered that it seems to um, work good enough to um, put out a video signal. And um, I had mentioned that I, needed, I still needed a... Um, ADB keyboard and mouse. Well, one moment. Join me, will you? I'll check that out. Okay, that didn't come out. <laughs> okay, um. You know, I normally only film this backyard in the winter time when it's snowing. So, you know, you get to see what it looks like the rest of the year. <laughs> but we are going to go into this little metal building. This building actually used to be behind my dad's um, convenience store on the other side of Greensboro. But in 1994, he had it moved here to our house. And it's been here ever since. And we just keep stuff in here for storage. I actually remember um, riding with my dad following the moving truck that was carrying this to our house down the interstate. I was only four years old, but that was pretty cool. Okay, it's kind of dark in here. I realize that. And me without a flashlight on my camera. So we'll pull out the camera, the flashlight on my cell phone. Okay. Where are you? Ah. Hello. Oh, come on. Don't open an ad. Don't open an ad. Why are you doing this to me? Okay. Stupid app. Okay. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, I actually do have an Apple ADB keyboard. I forgot I had bought this at um, Value Village several years ago, but I've never actually used it. It's missing the cable, but I could probably use a um, S-Video cable for that same pinout. But anyway, let's bring this back in the house. Want to see how fast I can run back to the house? Okay, after tons of painful rehabilitation and physical therapy, I am back in the house. Get a better look at the keyboard. Yes, it has yellowed. But as long as it works, we will be okay. But we really don't have a way to test it right now, so we will um, put this away for some future endeavors. Anyway, back on to the um, Macintosh. Um, excuse me, and the purpose of this video. We need to um, do a little bit of house cleaning. Um, as you can see, this Macintosh has gotten a little bit on the grimy side over the past 25 years. So, 
I don't have any simple green or anything like that. I do have Mr. Clean Febreze and of course my go-to um, cleanser for a lot of this stuff on old computers. Good old fashioned goo gone. And let's get the uh, Mr. Clean out. So, um, I guess first thing um, we need to do is peel these price stickers off as best as we can. They will leave marks, but that's what Goo Gone's for. Okay, that came off um, almost well enough. Can we get the rest, I wonder? That's why we got most of it. And there's still a little p piece of packing tape here from where it was being held together when I got it. That I'm going to have to remove. Not going to be fun. Okay, let's try these scissors that are sitting over here. Okay, that's starting to damage the plastic. I better not do that. <laughs> Okay. It's going to be a little bit tedious, I imagine. Okay, I got the um all the stickers and labels off the top of it. Um next thing we need to do is just simply clean the top of it and get some of this grime off. So, uh, I guess first of all we'll start with a little bit of goo gone. Okay, maybe a lot of goo gone. <laughs> Actually, you know what? One moment. Okay, I just removed the, um, ca the case from the computer just so will be a little bit more on the safe side. Now, ideally, um, what we would need to clean most of this off, some of the more ground-in stuff, is a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, but unfortunately, I do not have one at the moment. But when my ship comes in, I hope so. I hope I do. Okay, um... Maybe I'll use a little too much air, but oh well. Um, actually, let's uh, get these edges here. Okay, we're going to let this sit for a minute or so, and we'll be right back. Okay, I guess it's sat long enough. Let's start um, wiping it off and see if we get any gunk off. This is not going to be easy with one hand. Some of that grime there is not going to come off goo gone, it seems. Uh, okay, hold on here. Let, let me try this. Live life dangerously and put the camera right there by the sink. Thankfully, the sink is not full of water. That would really be a disaster for this portable camera. I'm using the same video camera for YouTube since Christmas of 2010. So six years and still going strong. It's a good camera, it's a JVC um, 720p. Got it for Christmas in 2010. The only thing I don't like about it is that um, it, it takes good video, but the um, it's, it's never been good in low light situations, which you may have noticed when I do videos in my um, bedroom. It's a little bit on the dark side. Okay, I'm gonna 
Actually, we're going to go the whole nine yards. I've just decided to do this here. We are going to go dangerous. And stick this lid in the sink. And go to town on it. We'll get a little bit of a... Uh, Dish liquid, pour it on there, that should be good. Get the water running, actually we'll get the... I figure, you know, it's not like I'm going to be booting this computer up anytime soon. Put a little bit more on there so we can do a little scrubbing. And I got water on my camera. Lovely. Okay. I know there are people watching this going, Oh, Billy, you're doing it wrong. You're a waste of, um... You're, you're a waste of society and you should go away. Well, it's my computer. I'll clean it how I want. <laughs> I'm going to do the rest of this off camera because I really need two hands for this. So it turns out washing it with um, dish, dish detergent was um, actually a good idea. Um, it looks a lot better, a lot better. <laughs> yeah, look at that. It looks great. Um, unfortunately, these marks are still here, but they will remain, they will have to remain here until I can get myself a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. But other than that, it is looking really, really good. So, um, yeah, that's another step of restoring this thing complete. Here's its keyboard it's going to use. Again, I hate that it's yellowed, but hey, it works and it feels like it's era appropriate. All I need is an ADB mouse, which is um, what I'm going to go after next. It's actually, um, I'm actually wanting one of the bars of soap style mice that would have come with this originally. I've seen them on eBay for about 20 some dollars, I, I believe. And um, as for the hard drive situation, as you recall, this. Um, the um, original hard drive in here is no longer um, available. That was a thing on my lens. <laughs> Sorry about that, but um, the original hard drive in here was removed. So I'm after a, a um, low capacity SCSI drive that would be compatible with this. Now, I do actually have a lead on it right now that may actually get this computer up and running with a functional hard drive, but I'm not going to say what that lead is because it hasn't really been set in stone yet, but stay tuned for that. But I guess that's all there is to show in this video. This is Billy Core signing off.